My name is Rachel Rabo. I'm from Nigeria. I'm currently studying industrial mathematics at the University of Benin. I started my journey in Power Platform after a boot camp was held last year, October, by David Abu. And since then, I've been practicing and learning on Power Platform. And recently, I started volunteering in Power Platform, started holding spaces on Twitter to bring awareness to others who have not heard about Power Platform and to bring more people into this space and see what they can do with Power Platform. So the I had an issue recently with lights. I most of the time they have no we have in Nigeria here yeah, we have issues with lights. So I went to a laundry company close, close to my house to charge my phone. And I noticed the processes they use in entering their data and the their services. So I decided to create an app to be able to reduce paperwork and to give the manager the ability to be able to see each, because it's mostly not around, to be able to see each record that's of the customer services that's made in a day. And they also have a, like they have a notes, they have different notes in their company to be able to keep records, to keep track of their expenses, the expenses made in a day, either for fuel or for maybe buying of soap and other things. So I created an app to be able to solve this, to resolve this issue. The processes, so the tools I used in creating this app was Dataverse, Dataverse is used as a primary database for holding the data and also to connect to the app. And I use Power Apps to create a tool screen, one for the customer's inventory and one for the daily expenses. Then I use the Power Automate to be able to send a push notification to the manager each time a data is recorded. What the full solution does for the customers is that they they can be added when an employee uh, and they have a new employee or a, an employee working in the company. They can add that person to the environment as a user, and it can be able to it can be able to access this app on their phones and be able to record and be able to record every expenses that is made in a day and for the customers. So they actually have access to the app. And they can be, they can still be able to, like, they have a note. If they have a note and the note gets missing or it gets torn, they have, they get uh, missing data and they are not able to keep track of their expenses made in a day. So with the app, they are able to get old data and able to record their expenses. So, and it also helps in resolving the issues of buying notes and getting uh, maybe missing notes, maybe they kept the notes, uh, maybe a, an employee kept the notes somewhere and another day maybe that employee does not come to work and they have to find that note. It's, it reduces that problem. So you can find me on Twitter at Richie for Love and LinkedIn, Richie Rabo. So for the app, I have, my network is low, so I actually recorded the app. I created the app before, but I noticed recently that there are some issues I had to resolve, especially here on the screen, the laundry app, the land, the home screen. I changed the the customer and expenses button. I brought it down instead of um, instead of leaving it at the up. Then I changed the picture, the background image from um, fill to fit. Then on the, you can see the app on the customer screen. I actually added a, I added a function to the edit, to the delete, um, to the delete icon that it shows you that if you are sure of being able to, showing you that if you are sure of whether you want to delete the app or not, then I had added a new function to the other screen which is the daily expenses screen for the same function that the daily expenses screen is used to record expenses made in a day, their daily expenses, either the soap, fuel, and other things. And I added a delete because most of the time they might make a mistake and click on the delete button. 
so they have easy access to be able to know that they can able to click on if they are sure or not, which reduces this risk of the which reduces this risk. And I added a push notification from Power Automate. Sorry, I did not record it here. I added a push notification from Power Automate that every time the a record is added, the manager gets a push, the manager gets a notification on their on his app in his phone. Then for the app, I worked on the I worked on the icons. I recently watched a video on YouTube and they talked about user experience. So I actually worked on the icons because they were too big. The edit icon, the delete icon, and the refresh. I worked on them. Yeah. That's all. <laughs> any questions? don't see any questions in the chat for you, but a, a lot of people, uh, including myself, think it's pretty awesome that just six months ago you got started with this technology and now you're building apps and teaching other people how to do it, which is really amazing. That shows off uh, yourself and the Power Platform, I think, both get a compliment from that, which is really cool. I, how many people use your app? Is it a single user or multiple people? Okay, no, there are actually four. I built, I actually built a demo for the manager first to look through the app if you wanted it. Then I built, I created a Microsoft 365 developer account for them. Then I created, I added the users, the employees to the environment and built an app for them. And they all have access to it. Awesome, that's great. It's fun to see how you can take such a uh, simple app and, and solve a problem with it so quick. Uh, we see apps like that many different times on the call here as well. Uh, are you sharing your app anywhere or maybe not because you developed it for a client? Sometimes people open source things they have. I'm just curious. Okay, I, I'm not, <laughs> I just started, so I don't know if I could, I, I just, I'm taking it step by step. I don't know if I could actually share it. Yeah. No problem. Sometimes folks already have their app up on GitHub or something like that, and they can share it and show other people how they built it. Just curious. Well, thank, thank you. you very much. I hope you come join us again sometime. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah.